Still no babies. As you can see. Well, her due date is tomorrow, so we will see if maybe she will have them tomorrow. She does not like you touching her belly right now. So, we will see if maybe she'll have them tonight. Hmm. Okay, everyone. Um, I'm going to be making a roasted um, split chicken tonight um, with just some roasted veggies. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do that. You're just, I just have a regular chicken. And I'm going to flip it upside down where it's breast side down. And I'm going to take some kitchen shears. And what I'm going to do is I'm, go I'm going to cut the spine out of the chicken so it can lay flat. So it'll be a little bit more even cooking. So what you're going to do is just go between on the one side of the tail and go all the way up to where the neck is, or right beside of the, uh, the wings, and you're just gonna cut. Now, it's, you can do this with a knife, it's just super hard. It's easier to do it with kitchen shears, um, just because it's just easier to cut through those bones. But you just wanna take, and sometimes they can be a little tricky to uh, cut. And usually I would flip it, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. And there we are. And see, all it is, you just cut the spine right out. Okay. And this is what you're left with. So, like I said, you just cut the spine off. Um, I am going to remove this big piece of skin right here just because I don't need that in this recipe. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is flip it back over and you're going to break the chest bone. So what you're gonna do, and sometimes I can do it pretty easy and sometimes I can't, so let's see if we can do it. Oh, there it goes. Did you hear it? And all it is, all it's gonna do is just, it sits flat. So that way everything is nice and flat on it. So, let me wash my hands. Now, this is just a store-bought chicken. Um, this is not one of ours. Um, we're planning on getting some meat chickens um, probably um, in April. Um, so, hopefully, we'll have some farm-fresh chicken to eat for too much longer. But let me show you what it looks like. And I just um, turned the thighs to where it's all flat and uh, the wings are fine. You can actually cut the wings off if you want to. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get my seasoning mixture. I'm gonna get a bowl. Get all of my spices over here. Let's see. And it's gonna be a really simple seasoning tonight. Um, I'm just going to add some, you can absolutely do this with butter. I sometimes will do it with butter, but tonight I'm just going to use some, uh, some extra virgin olive oil. And I just put about that much in it. Maybe, maybe a half a cup or a quarter of a cup, maybe if that much. Okay. I'm going to add lots of salt, some black pepper. You can honestly make this uh, seasoning any way you like. This is just something that is quick. Uh, some garlic powder. Some onion powder. And some a little bit of paprika. Okay. Now I'm just going to Give this a little whisk and get my bits out of there. I probably should have went ahead and grabbed my my uh, brush as well, but okay. So this is all I'm doing. I just mix it all together. Go ahead and oh, don't have it together tonight. We're gonna go back outside here in just a minute. 
just want to get this. All I'm going to do is just pretty much paint this little um, marinade mixture on my chicken. Now, I'm actually going to cook this in a cast iron skillet on top of my veggies. So, and while we're outside finishing up our evening chores with the animals, this will be in here cooking, and by the time we get done with everything, it should be done. But I just want to make sure I get underneath the wings really good, back side of the wings. Um, I am going to flip this over and get the uh, meat part of it. That way that seasoning is in the meat as well. Because you've got your salt and everything in here, and you just want to make sure that everything is gonna have really good flavor because chicken by itself isn't very flavorful. So you just gotta help it out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick it up and flip it. Okay guys, I've let my chicken rest on the counter just to kind of get it up to room temperature for about 30 minutes. And while my oven was preheating to 400 degrees, I went ahead and got the veggies for um, my chicken. What I did, I just had some small potatoes, um, the Little Potato Company. Um, I just washed them and just threw them in here. I didn't even see a point in cutting these where they're so small. I added, um, three carrots that I just chopped up. As you can see, I just, just left them kind of a little bit the same size as my potatoes. And I put, um, half of a red onion in here. It was just half of what I already had in my fridge and, um, some fresh garlic, salt, and pepper that it, oh, and olive oil. And I just stirred it up just to make sure everything was really good and coated. Um, let's see. I need a bigger spot here. Okay, so I'm using a pretty decent sized cast iron skillet. Um, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan just because this cast iron skillet I've only had for a few months and I'm still seasoning it a little bit. So I just want to make sure that it's good and it's not going to stick to my pan at all. You don't have to use a cast iron skillet if you do not have one. Um, you can use just a regular baking dish if you have that. Um, I know a lot of people don't use cast iron skillets. but So what I'm going to do is just put this in here like that. Now, since I have so many vegetables, I'm gonna kind of squeeze my turkey in a little bit. Or my turkey, <laughs> my chicken. <laughs> this is a big chicken. And I'm just going to lay all of the root vegetables, just kind of squeeze them in there. This is for a family of five. So if you do not have a big family like ours, you do not have to make such a large portion of vegetables, but my children tend to, well, I can't complain. They like, you know, vegetables, but they will eat you out of the house sometimes, which I heard gets, and there went a potato, which I heard gets worse as the older they get, so not looking forward to that. <laughs> Thank goodness we try to grow our own food. Just gonna add the last little bit. I think I need a bigger cast iron skillet. I guess that'll be on my shopping list next time. All right. Let's kind of make it a little bit more pretty. Kind of make everything a little bit more even. All right. Let me wash my hands again. Now, since I do have such such a big chicken, I have, um, I think this one's six and a half pounds. Um, I am going to cook this at 400 degrees for about an hour. 
If you have a smaller chicken, um, I would check at about 45 minute range just to make sure. Um, but I'm gonna check mine at four or at an hour. <laughs> um, and I will just put my meat thermometer in it and I want my thighs to be at least 165. Um, I like it between 165 and 175. Um, just, you know, eh, it's chicken. Um, so I will put this in there uncovered, let it cook. Once it's, um, I get it to temperature, I will remove it from the oven, cover it with some aluminum foil, and I'll let it sit, just sit there, just sucking in all those juices back into the chicken. And I will let that uh, do its thing for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then after that, we'll carve it up. Hi. Hello. Hello, mister. You are shedding up a storm. You are shedding. Getting ready to check all their ears. We did take a little break to see how it went. We will start checking ears again here in just a little bit. And uh, let them have some grass time. We did let uh, Jack and Lola out, or Lola, Jack and little mama out earlier. Um, so they've already had their grass time. I went ahead and cleaned their cages out. Could not get this one or the little gray one out. So I guess we will have to wait and see if they want to come out later. But uh, we did breed Lola to uh, bugs over here about a week ago. So we will see if maybe we have some more babies pretty soon. If we, hopefully we do because we have someone very interested in five of them. So hopefully we can uh, have some more babies. So here is our female midnight. She is almost a year old. She'll be a year old in July, I believe. And uh, we are just going to check her ears, make sure everything's okay with them and check her nails and see how she's doing. Everything looks good with her. So let's check her little, oh, her nails look good. Okay. Let's just make sure everything looks good. Okay, don't cover her, don't cover this is Old Man. As you remember, he is the one that had the worst ear mites out of all of them. So we are just going to let him calm down a minute and check his ears, see how the mats are doing, and check his nails to make sure everything's okay. So, all right, let's look at his ears. Oh, his ears look a lot better. They still have some, uh, some ear, just a little bit in there. So I think this last treatment will be good for him. Yeah. Okay, so hand me that. Some right here. Hello. Hello. 
it. Okay. Oh, this is also some carrot shape. A little, very little weight whenever it comes to chickens. Because they love veggies. Do not. Hey, Lee. Get up. Supposed to be protecting. Not doing nothing and being a big softy. And you only got one left. I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what, what's your problem? Is it? What is it? <laughs> One against three. That's the poop chicken. No, it's the that one. one. <laughs> can I do it again? Okay guys, my chicken has been sitting out on the counter uh, covered in foil for about 15 minutes and I'm just going to show you the final product. It is so good. It smells delicious. And there's that and I'm about ready to make a... Uh, just a simple salad. Well guys, here it is. Um, I've got everything cut up. I was just showing you, I've got the cut up chicken under here. But I just paired it with a, just a simple um, side salad. And like I said, I've got everything out of here. Um, I did add a little bit of juice to uh, my chicken, but I just want to show you the importance of resting your meat like can y'all see how juicy that is that is why you always rest your meat um no matter what well guys that's it for tonight's video i'm sorry it wasn't very interesting um but we are in the process of finishing our um, bathroom that we're remodeling and i'm getting ready to start spring cleaning so i have about a million things going on top going on on top of the million things I already have to do in one day. So, um, but if you guys would like to ask me any questions, I do get messages over on our Instagram. Um, if anybody would like to follow us there, but we will be back Thursday and hopefully we will have, um, baby bunnies, uh, tomorrow. I will keep everybody posted on our Instagram. If anybody would like to go over there and just keep a lookout, but we hope you have a great week and we will see you guys Thursday. Bye.